Here at the exhaust shop. The exhaust guy is really nice, said we could film. So look up here. He's got it started. The exhaust on the driver's side comes to the front. It was a problem because there's the PTO winch. So he's turned it over here. We're getting ready to, to, to get it together on this side. He's got a few more bends, but it's coming together. But oh well. Hey, what do you expect for its 50 something year old Jeep? master cylinder now here is the old one um it is full of unknown material what the unmo unknown material is i don't know but i thought it would be best to change it so we have a brand new one here getting it out was no fun but anyway bench bleeding uh, if you want to make sure your brakes work, you bench bleed. You put the uh, put the master cylinder in a vise, and then you bleed from where the fluid comes out back into itself because there's pockets of air in there that you want to get rid of. And if you put it in the vehicle and don't do that, it's not going to work right. And you don't want to pull it back out because this master cylinder is under the floor, under the pedals, in a horrible spot to get to. So this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna uh, fill it with brake fluid and pump the brake fluid from where it comes out back into itself. Here we are, we're getting ready to put some brake fluid in. Hopefully it don't leak out. Uh, don't leak your butt in a minute, buddy. Here we go, we got some brake fluid in there. Now what we're gonna do, hey, why put that lid on there? That ain't gonna work. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna pump the fluid out of here, back into here. I know that sounds like that ain't gonna do nothing, but it does a lot. All right, there's a lot of bubbles, a lot, which... There's passages down in here that hold air. So we're, we're trying to get that out. And you can see the brake fluid coming through with the bubbles in it. And when the bubbles disappear, we're in good shape. Hey, things are starting to look better. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Bench bleeding a master cylinder. You know, this is second to drinking beer for me. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, we're we're getting close here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take a break for a second, let some of the bubbles die down. But I'm loving it. Yeah, it ain't McDonald's either. You want to get right over in here to look down in there? It's beautiful. All right, now you can see in the plastic hose that all the bubbles, well, there's some minute ones, but most of them are gone now. So that tells me this master cylinder is ready to put on. So we're gonna have to cap it off to keep from air going back in it. Oh my gosh. That's wonderful. Yep. That's, I know that's maybe not the most exciting thing ever, but it has to be done to make sure your brakes work good, which brakes are very important. 
What do you think? Brakes are very, 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 very important. Driving's great, but stopping is very important. So yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. Let's see here. We got to cap this thing off and prepare it for putting on the vehicle. All right. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's all it takes. Just a little bit of time and effort, but it's gotta be done if you want it to work right. So yeah, we're ready to get started. Maybe get a little brake fluid off of me, but, but yeah. Easy job, but gotta be done. I need a rag. Where's, where's my rag attendant? What's going on here? So Casey, we just happen to be having a conversation. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We just happen to be having a conversation off camera. And ladies and gentlemen, these, these boys are sitting in front of an amazing piece of history. Okay. A beautiful work of art. Well, I wasn't talking about that. We've, oh, we, I thought you were. I was talking about the postal Jeep. And, it's a uh, 1974. And that is awesome, awesome, awesome. But while the boys get to sit down during this segment, and Pappy over here behind the screen has to do all the hard work and walk back and forth between the cameras and stand on the concrete. and But Casey was telling us a story just now about why he would necessarily love to trade places with Pappy right now because... He's finding it somewhat uncomfortable, ladies and gentlemen, um, sitting down on his derriere. So, um, <clears throat> Casey, can you tell us a little bit about your, your conumption there? Well, Barry, since you made it everybody's knowledge. I'm called Pappy on this show. Thank you very much. Okay, Casey, Pappy, come since on you want to make it everybody's knowledge, I got hemorrhoids. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you cut to the chase we awfully all, quickly, didn't we not? all, of it, and, and you said it perfectly when we get old we have him brought and casey did i not have the humility to go on record on this show going into great detail about my challenge but yet somehow casey wants to cut to the chase ladies i want to go back to that now that beautiful girl that you were talking about. Well, there's, they can go back and watch that in a previous episode where I talk about the Boutre Doctre, yeah. and you can go back and check that out. But anyway, uh, Casey, you're in a little bit of discomfort today. Is that what we're understanding? I'm inflamed. Well, let's talk about that inflammation, Casey. Can you describe to us what the typical symptoms are for you of this particular type of explosive inflammation? Might as well. <laughs> I have a grape hanging on my butt. A oh, grape, just one? Just one. Now, I like can, grapes. Are, are they? Is it a green one? Well, or is it a is it a purple? Yeah. Oh no! You want to look at no, it? No, no, Here, no, 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 not, not yet. We, we'll get to the exam later. Okay, but right now we just this is the pre-screening time. That hey, we've got to work this out. I will use my redneck multi-tool right here. To help him out with his grape, I got it right well, there. See, you say that, but that is actually how they typically deal with that problem. Ouch! Well, really? not with your redneck tool, but they're going to cut it off. But I'm just curious, though, because it seemed like JT didn't pick up on that one piece of very important little piece of information in your discussion. How Can you please describe to us exactly how you know it's the size of a grape? Because you can't really see there, can well. you? So did how, how do you how there? do you know? Did you did you ask Jeff to look and say, can you give me a measurement on this? I don't I you don't know, see Jeff you know wanting to do, do that. You know how you do your finger thing, kind of. Hey, wait, 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 Casey. How do you do don't what look again? Don't at me. Look at the camera. How, how do you do okay. what again? Well, yeah. well, so you do that in that area often? No. So you seem to have, you seem to go straight to this like it's like it's a repetitive thing. This is what happened. Went to Popeye's Chicken. So you got your hemorrhoids from Popeye's chicken. I did I've heard a lot of things, chicken. buddy. I did. But I've never. Oh. And red beans and rice. I do love Popeye's chicken. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, wait. 
We're not blaming none of this on Popeye. No. Oh, no. I love no. Popeye. Because any sane human being on the planet knows you cannot get hemorrhoids from Popeye's. But I, we're back to the grape. Tell us exactly how you first sized that grape up. Walk us through how you did it. When it's exposed. It's back in How is now. it exposed? No, more detail. More oh, detail. You know. You oh can't, no! You I can't wipe this is this pat. is for people who don't understand. Not for no, me. You understand no that? No wiping, patting. When do you pick the grape? I just stop. Uh, I like grapes. grapes. Oh no. no! Is this going to be in a wine someday soon? Oh no. Well, perhaps maybe this bad. Okay. But. See, here's what he's trying to do, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to deflect the conversation away uh, from this grape. From my hemorrhoids. So uh, what is exa- What are you doing about it now, Casey? What are you doing to cure these symptoms? Well, I came over to Jeff's house. He had some... Is he a witch motor- doctor or something? No, he had some motor oil. It ain't motor preparation oil. H. It's but- used motor oil. Yeah. Uh, 10W40, 10W20. It's usually 5W30 for one. 5W30. What I got. But, yeah. no, no, but wait, I have wait, wait, wait. some gear Does lube. Does it need synthetic? I have some gear. It's all synthetic. Okay. Yeah. There you go. But I have gear lube here too. Just so, okay. so long as you walk around. So did Jeff help you with the installation of this oil? Oh, I stood back and sprayed. <laughs> Is that kind of like when you like use that little gun, you squeeze it in, and you lube it up? Yeah. Did you do that? Now I just walk around and squish. What? The grape oh, don't even hurt. Oh, it doesn't hurt. No, so, tell me, tell me so right now. So why is this so uncomfortable hurt. for you then? It's not right now. Well, That's not what you. you said a few minutes ago. Well, that was before. Is it I, inflamed? That was before I drank one of these fine Would you like to drink another? Drink. That's why it stopped hurting. Do you understand There that? is one more in there. Uno mas cerveza, amigo. Ready? Come on. Get her done. Ladies and gentlemen, JT has exited the stage. He's going back into the refrigerator I'm that set. happens to be no more than five feet away. Oh, my God. Casey's gosh. ready to go for numero dos. Hey, we had one. a round of applause for Ladies Casey. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, 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 yes. Now. So, Casey, before you do that, show all these people what it is you're about ready to consume and talk about oh, it a little bit. This this will make the grapes go away right here. Ah. <laughs> uh, and who's, who's the fine brewer that you're about ready to consume? Last week was a good week. I didn't say the vintage. I said the brewer. That is a, what, JT, while he's, cu- no, keep going, Casey, don't stop. JT, what do you call it? Look at me, JT. No, keep going, keep going, no, keep going. You're doing fine, you're doing fine. Keep cold. going. Is it Four- cold? Is it cold? It is cold. Oh, cold God. 45, high gravity. Are you feeling high, baby, right now? Works every time. It does work every time. Oh, and, and, and the best part about it is, it says, hold on. I'm old, so I can put my glasses. Come on, JT, pull it out. I gotta read it. Uh, A real American classic lager since 1963. Wow, they've been brewing forever. All right, so let's share something. Malt lucre. Because I was talking earlier before, we happen to get viewers from all over the world. Believe it or not, this little show here gets viewers from all over the world. All you folks outside the United States of America, if you see that particular can in your local place where you buy beer, do not buy it. Do not taste it. Do not even, do not think of us here in America and relate us to wait, that. Wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, 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 no. wait, we don't have anything against Colt 45. Yes, we do. We Malt do liquor. not. We do not. Speak for yourself. Well, it, in our High opinion, gravity, it is an American liquor. company and we want to support is, American companies. It is not a good beer. In our opinion, y'all have to make your own decisions. So everybody out there. Buy you a four pack and try it. You might like it. Mike, <laughs> oh, you likes might not. it. You never know. Malt liquor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, uh, but what the master cylinder does is picture this as when you push the pedal, this pushes in like that. There's a rod that's hooked to the pedal and it pushes in right here and it creates pressure. Your, your brake light switch is on this end. So when the brake light switch 
finds pressure, you have two wires there. When you when it finds pressure, it connects a circuit to make the tail lights come on. Also on this end is where your where your brake line hooks up. But simplistic but works. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's why I work on Willie's Jeeps, because they're fun to work on, kind of so easy. So you're saying if you don't have any air in this thingy here, and this yeah. is this is what I call a thingy. Yeah. If you don't have any air in, if you have air in here, then you're not going to stop. It don't want to stop. Your it don't want to stop. Your pedal is really spongy. So if you I, understand spongy pedal. If I was pedal. unhappy with you in the future, and I wanted to get rid of you, all I'd have to do is get a little bit of air in there, and then you wouldn't be able to stop, and you go off the cliff. It's possible. Would we go by La Bra? Uh. You know, I never could find La Brea. It's a car should called La Brea, and it's in Los Angeles. When we rednecks went out there in the nineties, we were 90, looking. We were looking for. Yeah. We were looking for pizza on La Brea. Yeah. And then we had to go to Melrose. Yeah, we did. We stopped at Johnny Rockets and we ate, but I don't remember. Do you remember when we saw? The we host watched the people doing the shell game out on the side of the road. But do you remember when we saw the? Uh, the two homeless guys fighting down on the ground that. outside the Denny's. That's been a long, long we time ago. We pulled up to this Denny's, and, the, and I, I know feel we bad went. for these homeless guys. Don't get me wrong. I mean, nobody deserves that in their life. But these guys were throwing down in the parking lot of Denny's like nothing I've ever seen. It was a little bit of a shell shock for two boys from Kentucky. Well, I don't remember. But I remember going to a, I guess you would call it a porn shop. Well, we didn't quite have to bring that up. This is part of the show that we <laughs> don't necessarily need to reveal everything about our And past, I'm not sure much of this is going to make it on video because I'm not so sure my wife would appreciate some of this. How did we get to naked girls talking about a master song? Welcome to Life with Pappy. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm going to turn it back over to this guy because this thingy here, I know it's got something to do with the brakes and needs to be bled. And they, it's done. It's bled. It's, it's ready, ready, ready to go. He's going to put it on a Jeep. 